This morning, after hours of discussion, St. Pete Beach City Commissioners are still undecided over the possible expansion of a beach resort. That meeting ran until 2.30 this morning as the owner is trying to add two new waterfront hotel, hotels. News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers joins us live now from St. Pete Beach with what we've learned. Good morning. Good morning. So that meeting started at 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon and over 10 hours later, they finally adjourned at 2.30, still without answers on what's to come and if we're going to get two new high rise hotels here in St. Pete Beach. She carries. We are adjourned. After hours of discussion, St. Pete Beach City Commissioners ended their special meeting at 2.30 Thursday morning, still without answers. What's on the table? The construction of two waterfront hotels here in St. Pete Beach. One would be 10 stories with 290 rooms and rooftop dining, drinking, and music. The second would stand eight stories tall with 130 rooms. Hundreds of people filed public comment, taking issue with things like traffic, blocking views, noise, and even the ocean breeze. The concern for when I was there one day, and by coincidence, it was pretty bad. Joe Young says he contacted the engineers who did the trade winds wind study. They started laughing. They said, you gotta be kidding me. People really think that adding three floors to this building is gonna create an effect that's not there right now. Last week, an attorney sent this letter to the city saying it's an unfair fight, asking that the mayor recuse himself from last night's meeting, claiming he's biased as founder of Protect St. Pete Beach, an organization vocally opposed to this project. Nevertheless, the mayor and the rest of the city commissioners remain undecided after hours of discussion. One commissioner even comparing this to the Don Cesar. I could honestly say that the experience I had working with the Don was very different. And, and I'm not saying what's right or what's wrong, but hearing so many um, residents and so much discourse makes me feel something went wrong along the way. This motion is set to come before city commissioners again on Tuesday. Live in St. Pete Beach, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.